So hello friends, welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today we are going to design uh, the third part or the episode three we are going to work with of this particular and beautiful application that we are building. So today we are going to design the Joker wallet. Okay, the wallet design we are going to build today. So this is the design which you see it on the screen. That's what we are going to implement. So let's implement that quickly. And this is episode three. If you have missed out the first two episodes, do check that out. The link is there in the description. And mind that I'm not following the proper order. So the orders one, we will design it later on. The things that I'm going to design now is this particular one. So let's get started. All right, so now, you have seen the home page and search page up till now and i hope you must be liking that okay so friends let's go to the wallet section and in the wallet one you have already seen the design that we are going to build let's try to implement this now so we already have the page out here let's go inside that particular page and in this particular page let's start designing it up now out here first thing first i don't need to use any toolbar so i'll just remove that and i'm going to use my list out here but before that i don't want any border so i'll give a class out here i n no border to my i n header okay so we don't see any border that's pretty great and then i'm going to work with the i n list out here in the i n list basically i'm going to have some label and everything let me just show you one by one so in the first item of the i list we are going to have this particular design where the color i have changed well you can achieve that with the toolbar also but i wanted to use this up because there is some other thing that we need to take care of uh, the second part of this particular one this particular stuff if you want to achieve that definitely it's better to use an i list out here okay so i've given the color to be primary and i'm using an i label okay inside the iron item where i'm passing joker wallet and i've centered it up and given a color of white which is looking nice as of now we can design a little bit more later on first achieve the next part which is very crucial now in order to achieve that up i am going to use a div so this is my div where i've given a class of popover basically it's kind of a popover stuff only according to me i've given just a normal class name you can change it as per your requirement and i'm using an iron item where lines to be none then i'm using an iron label inside the iron items where i'm passing the iron text of color dark which is this total one okay then i'm using a p tag because the next line we need to go out there and to that i have passed color to be primary and given 500 rupee you can change the currency as per your requirement so this is what i have done out here and i'm using an iron item because i need to pass something at the right side or at the end side that is why an iron item gives you the flexibility to pass anything at the front bottom inside the center part and at the end part so that's why i mostly use an item but if you want uh, some design or responsive kind of stuff definitely use iron row and column for that that will be better all right so this is the design that i want and i've given uh, on the end part add circle basically if you want to add some to your wallet definitely a form will pop up will not work with that right now but you can work with that too okay that's why that plus button will help you to achieve that okay all right so moving ahead so this is the design looking simple right now how we can make it classy as per this particular design that you can see it on the screen well we need to go to the scss and work with that let's go there and design it as per our requirements so i'll go to the scss and out here i'll start designing and everything will be done within the iron header itself to which at first i'm going to pass the background to be of light color because i don't want it to take any other color okay as you can see out here this is of light color and the content color will be different later on so you will just check it right now now for the iron list also i'm just passing a background of light color because i want it to take the light color background and then i'm passing some padding okay so this is very important because the padding bottom i've given 9 vh and padding top to be 2 vh only left and right no padding i've given just because i want some padding out here and i'll move this particular div at the top that is why i'm changing this stuff in order to achieve that okay and finally i'm working with the iron item where i'm working with the iron label to which i've given simply the font weight font size and also the letter spacing these three things i've given so that is why we are able to see a nice joker wallet design that's what we can see it out here exactly the same 
All right. The next thing we need to design is our popover one. So for the popover one, what am I going to do? I'm going to work with the popover class. So in the popover class, this is the thing that I'm going to have. You can see the design is showing up, but what exactly I've done, let me just show you. So basically you can work around with the width at first because I want this particular width of the popover div to be 90%. That's why you get this particular spacing out here, right? Then the margin auto so that it takes proper margin on the left and right side. And then on the an item within the div, what have I done? I have passed border radius to be 20 pixel and dash dash is being given because this is a CSS property of an item. This is a default CSS. Okay. And if you are confused, well, in the div, I have passed an item where lines none and then we are working with the iron label. Okay. So the next thing out here which I work with is the iron icon or no margin top, which is very important. If I don't give that, it will not move towards the top. You can see it out here, right? That is why it is very important to give some margin top in a negative one to move it at the top. And then for the iron icon, well, I've given font size to be 4 rm. That is for the plus button. If I don't give that, you will see it will be very small. Okay. Just check that out. Then for the iron label, I have given margin of 3 vh. Okay. So basically this is the iron label within this. You have both these things and I've given some margin top and bottom 3 vh. That is why you see this particular margin out here. If I don't give that, it will be congested. Just check this out. Okay. Now for the iron text, I've just given font weight and font size. That's what I have played with. Okay. That is for this particular total one. 0.8 REM is better for this particular one. And for the P tag, which is this 500 one, I have given font size to be 2.5 REM, almost similar to the icon that we are using, the size of the icon. Okay, not exactly equal. It will be, I think, more than half. Okay, more than half. That's what we can assume. So this is looking nice and we have achieved this up. Now for the iron header, I have given light color background. This is what you can see. This is iron header actually. That is why the light color is showing up at the background one. Okay. Why I have done that? Because for the iron content also, I'm going to have this light color background. Let's achieve that now. Because this design is done. The next thing we are going to work with this particular list. Let's go ahead. Do our HTML. And in the HTML, I'm going to pass color to my iron content to be light color and you see everything is light color now that's great so the next thing we need the list and for that i will do everything dynamically so for doing that up i need to go to the typescript one so wallet page typescript file and out here what am i going to do well i'm going to implement or have a property at first and then we are going to initialize in ng on in it let's do that so I limit as transactions array in this particular manner and in the ng on in it, I'm going to have the value of it. So in the ng on in it, well, this will be my array where I have an ID, then the amount I have passed. Now amount added, what does it mean? Basically when the amount is added, I have just given a flag out here. If it is true, it will be a plus symbol. If it is false, it will be a minus symbol. That's what I have tracked out here because if you pass it directly in the amount one, then the rupee symbol or the currency symbol will not come up directly. You need to trigger few stuff out there, which I have done a lot many times, but I don't want to do it out here. That is why this flag is very important. Then a date is being given and the purpose of this uh, transaction is being passed out here. All right. Now we need this dynamic thing in our design. But before that, there is one more thing called transaction ID. If you are spending some uh, something online all right if you're doing a transaction online then definitely there will be a transaction id that's what you can pass it out here say like uh, for the wallet you are topping it up okay you are adding some money definitely you will have a transaction id for that that's what it's being done okay moving ahead let's go to our html and work with our iron content now in the iron content i'm going to have a list where lines will be none and i've given margin vertical so that we can have margin at the top and, and bottom. Okay. Then within that, I have an iron list header where I pass mode to be empty, which is very important because for Android, the, the design is pretty okay, but for iOS, it's not that great. If you just check it out, I'll just show you out here. If I just cut this, 
you will see a bigger design which i don't want i want a smaller one that is why i've just used the android design out here instead of the ios one okay and transaction history is being passed out here okay but once that is done the next thing i'm going to simply work with the iron item out here where i'm going to loop everything okay so this will be my iron item where i'm looping it up and within that i have passed an iron label and finally an iron text which is slot at end that means this particular one is passed at the end which is this particular iron text and the other part well i have passed within the iron label where we have the purpose at first okay and then in the p tag the first p tag we have the transaction id if there is any that's what i have checked out here in the ng if and i passed the class to be t margin any name i have just given transaction margin basically because i'll give some margin at the top and the next p tag well i have passed a class dynamically because i am just checking out here if the transaction id does not exist then i am going to pass the margin out here why because if there is no transaction id in the other places we will not have this particular spacing between the purpose and the date or other stuff right that is why i'm doing that and if the transaction id is present definitely i'll not pass any other class so there won't be any extra margin which will be passed out there that is what it's being done and i'm using this ternary operator for that and within the p tag well i have an iron text where i'm passing date now this date was in a different format in our typescript one which you can check it out here where is it not one in the wallet one yes so that is in this particular format now i have to transform this format into the one which everybody can understand pretty easily well this one also everybody can understand but this is more standard way uh, which you can which is visible from a long distance also and you can understand that's what i feel so in the html what i have done i have used a date pipe and i am transforming this particular date into mmm d comma y which is why we see the month in this particular manner the short month name and then the day okay on which date so that is why the short date is being passed and finally 2023 which is the latest one that's what you get and if you pass the capital d you will get a different design okay not capital d i think dd maybe yes dd you get two decimal numbers so i just want a single d that's fine all right so this part is coming up now it's time to design this particular one in the form that we can see out here all right let's achieve that so in order to do that up i'll go to the scss and work with this particular one after the iron header i need to work with the iron content okay now in the iron content what exactly i'm going to do well i'm going to apply a lot of designing first of all starting with our iron list what have i done i have passed background to be transparent okay let me show you one by one so if i am passing background to be transparent well it will take whatever it's at the background of that iron list okay the iron list will be transparent that is why we don't see anything out here it's gone on the transaction history if i just give if i just comment this up you will see that the transaction history will still have some background okay now in the iron okay let me uncomment this okay and show you one by one so for the iron item i have changed the width to be 90% so that we have 5% 5% at the left and right side basically it depends if you don't give margin auto definitely it will not take equal so that is why margin auto is being given then the border radius to this iron item will look pretty nice of 10 pixel i love it then a margin bottom of 2 bits that is why we have spacing between two iron items okay now it time it's time to work with the iron label where i have pass the font size to be 1.1 rem and it will be passed to all the things that are available inside the iron label but i have changed that using the p tag because i have given a different size for the p tag which is 0.85 rem that will be applied to this particular may 1 to 23 or to the transaction id also all right so it will be overlapping the earlier font size of 1.1 rem which is passed on the iron label remember that now for the t margin which we have used remember that i am passing margin top to be 0.3 vh that's what i have done out here t margin is passed in two places if we don't have the transaction id this will be passed out here otherwise if we have the transaction id it won't be passed out here only on the transaction one it's being passed okay so that is what i have been 
passing out here and finally i index where the slot is and that's what i have mentioned specifically so it will be applied only to this particular one so out here what have i done i am passing font size of 1.2 rem and to the span which we have inside this particular ion text because out here i have passed i've worked with the color also because if we have amount added then it is the primary color that is the greenish color otherwise if it is in a negative one definitely you will give the danger color or the reddish color okay similarly out here for the plus and minus also i'm checking the same okay using the ternary operator and in the span one i am passing the amount and out here also i'm using a number pipe okay or decimal pipe i would say uh, which is by default so zero within this i have what have i done actually i need two decimal numbers after point okay so that is why at the starting means before the this before the point whatever numbers you have you can have minimum zero number okay doesn't matter but after the decimal minimum two and maximum two decimal points that you can have that is how it works if i give it a zero well i can have minimum of zero okay that is why you can see minimum one decimal is showing up but if I give, if I fix it at two decimal points, uh, two decimal numbers which should be present after the point, that's how you need to do minimum value you need to have. Okay. So, all right. Once that is done, we are good to go with this particular one, I suppose. And let me check it. One thing is good. Okay. Now we have transaction ID out here, which is showing up pretty nicely on the top of one. If you want to change something out there, definitely you can work with that. Say like you can pass the ID also out here in this particular manner okay that's how it's going to show up uh, if you are confused about it if you don't want to pass it definitely you can remove it up i think passing it is a better option which i haven't done so i think i'm good with this id or you can simply type transaction ID. now let's check the same in our android one also do we get the same design or not so for the android one if i refresh it up okay everything looks fine but this particular one is not it's breaking right now, how to fix this up? In order to fix this, I need to go to the SCSS again and work with the MD at the very top. So, out here, I'm going to pass dot MD and work out here. Here, I'm going to work with the popover class where on the P tag, I'm going to pass padding top to be 1VH because on the iOS one, it is showing pretty nicely. Now, on the Android one also, it will show nicely. As you can see, it is fixed. So, if I go to the iOS again, let's check it out for iPhone 13. And I'll refresh it up. It's working pretty nicely. Okay, so that's what we have achieved. Pretty, I think it's looking lovely. Uh, let me know in the comment section how you like this particular wallet design. And do check the courses if you haven't checked. Uh, it, those are available on Udemy. The links are there in the description. And if you haven't checked the previous episodes, do check that out. The links are there in the description. Description is pretty full. Go and check. You will find a lot of content out there. Okay. So with this, I'll wrap up this video out here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.